Ka greetings and salutations, friends. I come bearing news about the Warhammer 40,000 and Amazon live action television series. Not, however, good news, I'm afraid. One might have thought that seeing as the secret level project has indeed gone through and there will be an animated 40k short in there, uh, called Chaos I do believe, that something had finally shooken loose here. Surely there might have been some sort of agreement between Games Workshop and Amazon over this, and of course there has been, but it is apparently for the animated short only. There is, as of yet, still no movement on the Warhammer 40k television show. And this is beginning to be a very big problem. The deadline for it is in December, according to my Amazon Insider, and as always, take these insider insights for what it is. In essence, rumours. As whilst I know and trust the guy, you, of course, do not know him. But, so... What exactly has been going on? That is probably the biggest problem in and of itself. Uh, nothing has been going on. It has been complete radio silence on the matter of the TV show ever since we had the last update the last time around. It appears as if both Amazon and Games Workshop are entirely content to just let the project die, honestly. As even now, as we are mere months away from the final deadline, after already missing the first one, mind you, even with a one-month extension into January, nothing seems to have been produced. Still no money is allocate, al allocated, still no accounts have been created, still no contracts have been signed, etc, etc. And I've seen a lot of uh, various rumours flitting around that Henry Cavill himself, too, is doing this or he's doing that and so on, which is almost certainly not true, uh, because again, there's no money. He wouldn't be working for anyone. He doesn't have an employment contract with Amazon or Games Workshop, merely the promise that if the product ever actually goes through, he will have a role in it. So his influence is likely extraordinarily limited if he has any influence in the matter at all at the moment. Now, this too seems almost ridiculous, right? These two companies have a lot to benefit from one another and this partnership. Obviously, Games Workshop is sitting on an IP that is so very close to becoming truly popular and has been so very close for about 10 years now, and Amazon, meanwhile, is desperate for something that isn't a guaranteed flop. Which is all they've pretty much produced recently. And after Rings of Power has now continued to empty their coffers for another season with three more to go, they really do need a win right now, and yet it again appears as if both companies are happy to simply allow the final deadline to come and go without ever actually producing anything worth mentioning. Now, why is this exactly? That's a big question, because they were able to produce the animated short, right? Now, that is of course just a short, which means all you really need to do as part of the secret level program is create, you know, 10-20 minutes of action here and there, maybe not even that, and that's it, that's all you need to do. Whereas a television show, you're going to have to create actual characters, you're going to have to create a long-term plot line, and as we discussed last time, Amazon is almost certainly going to be highly uninterested in creating an actual Warhammer 40k storyline. As we talked about just the other day, 40k is an inherently right-wing setting. It cannot be interpreted in any other way, and creating such a series in 2024 that's what one would call a bit of a long shot, which is why I am both saddened and happy over the news that nothing has really happened, honestly, because as much as I would love to see a 40k show with Havo Havo? Oh, nice. With Henry Cavill in the lead, I just don't think he'd be allowed to actually make a good show, as we are still stuck in the current year. Maybe in another two or three or four years time, perhaps, but now? 
it would be difficult to escape from underneath the oppressive cloud of politics, as that is, in my opinion, what is most likely to be getting in the way here. Now, both sides have made concessions. The uh, female custodies thing, for example, was almost guaranteed, in my opinion, a move on behalf of Games Workshop to either placate Amazon or demonstrate to them what would happen if they were to push for female space marines massive outcry, that is, and to hammer it home to them that, yeah, this this is not going to be a very good idea. Meanwhile, of course, Amazon has their diversity quotas, and they also want the Space Marines. They're not really interested in an Imperial Guard show, I'd reckon, because they're not the poster child. Even if an Imperial Guard show would be, well, one, cheaper, two, more easily relatable, and three, goddamn, just make a movie out of Cyphus Kane, goddammit. Henry Cavill as Cyphus Kane would work so goddamn well. But Again, that's the problem. And hey, Valhallans, we even know that there is actually a black Valhallan in Cyphus Kane's regiment. Now, it is noted that that is extraordinarily unusual, but still, there was one, so there is that too. But again, it is an inherently right-wing show, though it would require an inherently masculine storyline, which is something Amazon does not want to give us it does appear. That also the various other rumors flitting about, we've touched upon some of them, like how uh, GW in their excitement over getting to work with Amazon may have signed away more rights than they were thinking to sign away in their uh, contractual obligation, or was it, um, no, um, principle, contract in principle thingy that they had, uh, where basically they're both saying that they're going to try and make this work out without any actual obligations on either part. It is possible, as the rumor stated early on, that Games Workshop had promised a lot more than they should have promised, including giving Amazon the complete rights and ownership over any storylines and characters that Amazon created which would be a terrible idea, as it would in essence give Amazon carte blanche to do to 40k what they were trying to do with Lord of the Rings, by creating, in essence, their own legally distinct characters, their own legally distinct timeline, and their own legally distinct series of events that they can then claim to be the Amazon Lord of the Rings, or in this case the Amazon 40k, separate from the proper 40k. That would be a Terrible, terrible idea. So terrible that I very much so doubt GW would be dumb enough to put their name to anything like that, but when Amazon comes knocking, there's a decent chance you might be bending over before you even hear the first fist against the door. And there's also the potential that Amazon is pushing for too much, demanding too much, and Games Workshop recognizing the backlash that would be inherent in giving in to this just really doesn't want to. Uh, the Custodes blowback was a serious one. They didn't like that. It apparently affected the sales of the Custodes miniatures very badly, and they were one of the big poster style sale poster child English in terms of sales the last time around, so they probably got the message fairly loud and clear there. It's also possible that it's simply just purely ideological issues, that Amazon wants more than GW is willing to offer in terms of political concessions in making the show really, really work, for example. And but even then, though, I, I feel as if Amazon should be in a position right now where they'd be willing to bend a little bit on this. They did give Games Workshop the account access, for example, to flag various items on Amazon's websites, as we covered in a previous video, to take down things that uh, GW were of the opinion were in violation of their trademark. So, there's also, of course, again, the female custodians thing, which was definitely a concession, concession aimed towards Amazon. It seems wrong for both parties to now simply just be walking away, but there could also have been further scripts produced in the background. And I do imagine as well, there could be a new point of frustration here as well, with the previous series of scripts being rejected uh, due to the last deadline, it may be that Games Workshop got a little bit uppity and decided to demand that their own authors be allowed to create the screenplay. And Again, we've mentioned this already, the Black Library authors are excellent book writers, but they have no business writing screenplays. And Amazon probably knows that, and Amazon probably knows it can't really afford another big flop here. 
It is a sad, sad situation, particularly for Henry Cavill as well, which has been largely alienated from Hollywood because he cares a little bit too much about the characters he's asked to portray. And now that he had an opportunity to do something potentially amazing with his favorite setting of Warhammer 40k, He's probably stopped from doing so by bickering, politicking, and petty corporate nonsense. This entire show is, at this point, it looks like likely to simply die in some corporate back room somewhere, where the last people to smell the corpse will be a handful of lawyers bickering over license rights. Yeah. It's not looking good. Could something be going on in the background, you know, that my insider hasn't heard about? Could it simply be kept really, really secret after the failure to meet the previous deadline so as to avoid embarrassment? Entirely possible. Completely possible. But we're really close. <laughs> To the absolute deadline now, and nothing's leaked, nothing's been produced, no mentions of it, no suggestions that they're making headway or that any form of cooperation is being done, no money allocated, no accounts open, and crucially, no further signs of goodwill either in months. It's not looking good, and right now I would say that the probabilities lean more towards the entire thing being dead than it ever being greenlit. Again, however, rumors as always, but yeah, it ain't looking all too rosy right now. Until next time, however, I have been Arch, thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Till then, have a good day.